Welcome! New day, new chances! And here, we play against Cesar Musa! Thank you, Cesar Musa, for playing this game against me. We are on our road to 2000 to challenge the other guy in the suit, which is called Ray Enigma. And if I'm getting as well, as soon as I get to 2000, then we will challenge him. And the winner keeps the suit. So let's see about our game today. Let's see what Cesar Musa will be up to here. I think in this position we will go here. He goes there. It's interesting. I will go here. And then here. Maybe go here. I will take back with the queen. Develop the knight. All good. I think this queen is mispositioned here. I think it should go here instead. So that's good for us. We were not planning to take it anyway. Oh, he goes for a queen trade. Which we will happily decline. So here you know I can trade, trade, but then he has... And he's attacking this pawn. He is attacking to go here. I could play this move, but then, you know, he can go here. But I think this is just a good move for me. No queen trade. Oh, no queen trade. I wanted to develop the knight here anyway. And then I can go here and push this pawn. My arrows are a bit off today. But yeah, and then at some point just castle. And then he lost some moves. With his queen. There. I think we will just start expanding now. Yeah. If you go here, then this could even be a move. You can retreat then. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, maybe this is a good move now also. So if I go here, then he has a retreat square here. Yeah, I think should just leave the queen B. Can I really try? Maybe I could go here. Here, a threat threatening here. He tries to protect the pawn here, but then he can still go here. Here, here, <laughs> okay, maybe it's actually working, here, 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 oh, this one does, here of course, then if you go here, 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 I think it's working, I think it's working. Let's find out. Threatening to win a pawn here. If I'm not over overlooking anything, huh? He cannot really enforce the attack on this pawn either. My knight will drop back here at some point. Uh, I think this now is a good move. Maybe I'm losing a bit too much time on this queen chase. Good, now it takes, takes, going here. I think this just... Yeah, I think I can definitely, for sure, just take the pawn. I think I will do that, because if they're, if they're here, you go here. This move. And you can go here. And then I can take here. Hmm, then here. Jesus. Here, 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 going here, and then this pawn is not hanging. This is the better version compared to just taking right away. I think so. I think so. I think so. Uh, no. Hmm. What if I take? I 
here, here. Oh, I can retreat easily. Okay. Let's go here. Gotta take. Then I'll take back, of course. He has to retreat probably here. He goes here, I have to move p6. With d5 later on. So I think this is quite fine for me and I can escape through this side of the board. I think I'm uh, quite okay in this position. And I think I'm just a clear pawn up. So I thought that this would be the right move now. Let's just play it. If here, what about this move? Hmm. Here. I think b6 is a good move then, yeah. If here, then b6. And then we can retreat to this square. And this pawn is being protected twice, right? And so this is not the right move. So first b6. Takes, we just take back. And if, check here. We'll just exchange and go here. We also attack this pawn. It is being protected, but when the queen moves at some point... Yeah, okay. And I think we, uh, we, we can go here. Not right away, but in a bit. I think we can go back. What if we go here? Can you actually protect it? No, not really. And what if we attack it like this? How are you going to protect it? I think you cannot. I think you cannot. Let's just pick up the pawn. And this pawn we will also gladly pick up. So we can open this position. And we can also reroute the knight here. I thought, I thought now this is a good move. Getting the open file for my rook can never be wrong. If you go back, do I have some nice first lines here? Not really. Hmm. I think I can. Ah, okay. After this move, I can play this move. Then you can try to go after it. Um, but I can also go on a maneuver with my knight. That should be good, I guess. Getting activity. What about h? Is h5 a good move here? This that might become a weakness for me. This move just simply takes here, goes back. Also an option, also an option. Then the whole position gets opened up. Maybe that's a good idea actually. Well, I think first, let's start. Let's bring the knight into the game. That's my first priority here. That's my first priority. Yeah, that's what I expected. That's what I expected. Now I think I do want to offer a queen trade. Yeah. Takes and we just take back like this. I think my knights are pretty good here. My knights are pretty good here. I think I can go here. I would like to be pinned. And let's go here. It's a good move. 
And I think now h5 is a good move. Some points. Let's play it. And then we will simply gobble up this pawn. This knight is helping with the protection of this pawn, if ever going here, right? But probably I should get my rook into the defense here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm, let's go here, here. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Seems very reasonable. Also could have gone here, here. Oh. No need for that, no need for that. So this rook will enter the game. The spawns are weak, to say the least. Let's see what he's trying to do. Let's attack the pawn. Then he will go here. I will go here then. But this is not a move, I believe, because I just take it. And then my knight will go here. As an extra protection layer. And maybe I can play this move even. I should watch out for some tricks here. Eh? So some point he could take here. Takes back. But he doesn't have a fork. Here for example. So what I mean is like takes, takes. And if this would be a fork. On for example the king and the rook. Then it would have been, could be a good move for him. That's not the case at this point. I think, yeah, my knight will likely go here. And then this pawn will fall sooner or later. Sooner or later. Sooner or later, yeah. Um, I think we'll just go. I think we'll go here. Takes, takes. I could also just take and win the pawn. Yeah, maybe that's just even better. Here I can start moving the pawns up the board. Remember that you know there is some stuff going on with the bishop. Maybe this one goes here, maybe it goes here. This one goes here likely. I can, I uh, did see this move, I thought I can just simply move it forward. And let's do it. And then I can place my knight here, for example. And just get the rooks into the game. And uh, start moving this pawn. Very, all very pleasant. Okay. Ooh, did I move? I think. <laughs> so, I'm just lucky here. So, yeah, I think I can take. Take. Check. And then move in the night here. It was a bit careless of me, but it works out. So he could go here, right? Which I would be very happy to see. Attacking the bishop. Maybe a rook comes here, but I think the main point is that this pawn will now start marching forward. Where is the bishop going? 
That's a bit unclear. He doesn't have any entrance to my king's position. So I think this is just very comfortably, be comfortably winning against Cesar Musa. Cesar Musa. Nice name from Cesar. Here, this pawn. Yeah, this is just uh, pretty much game over. If you move this pawn, I will go for a rook trade. Likely. And then it's even easier to win the game. Uh, let's move which one? This pawn. Let's move this pawn. Perhaps he will take. I'll take back and he can give a check here. But that's all fine. Yeah, probably somebody should do. I think cleaner would have been to go here. Because then if he takes, I can take back with. A knight, but okay. Yeah, but now I can just move this pawn up. And he cannot attack my knight either. Now we'll go here. Then, yeah, we have to trade rooks because he cannot go here, right? Because then I will take him with a knight. Um, I will even take it with a pawn. It brings me even closer to a promotion. Even better. Yeah, so, you know, these kind of pawns, they're worth a lot, right? At least a queen, because they will promote more, well, more of them will promote. So this is... Yeah. How would you, so a question to you, how would you actually finish this game? Would you promote as much as queens as possible? Would you just, you know, give checkmate as soon as possible? Leave it in the comments. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. You know, your comments are very valuable. Yeah. And then we simply promote. Let's pre-move this in case he takes. That's what I thought. I'll just promote. I would just go for the fastest checkmate. Well, fastest, like I would say, a relative fast checkmate. Uh, but let's see how it works. Probably here, here. Yeah. I think that's correct. Check. Check. Uh, let's check. 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 And checkmate. Thank you for the game, Cesar Musa. And let's see the game analysis. Game review. Analysis board. Let's see how we did. Accuracy of 85% and a rating of 1700. So let's see. Yeah, so all good. Yeah, here, like I said, right? So this is a bit of a waste of time. I think you should just, what does he say, castle or um, the move d3 here, or even takes is a good move, but not queen here because I will not. Capture your bishop, because then you get activity. Um, here knight, c6 would have been a good move. Okay, fine. Would have liked to go here. It takes. Ah, takes, takes. And then rook f2, for example. Why is this so good? f5. Mwah. I prefer to have the queens on the board and not to go into an endgame. Uh, especially against uh, 
people from this opposition. Yeah, castles would have been good, let's say. Castles, e5, and then knight c8, yeah. It's a bit how the game went as well. And then takes, yeah. Well, it's quite similar. I took instead. And I'd like to go here, but then I thought takes, takes. And knight to e4. And then just castle. I thought this would this would be a weak pawn in the end. <laughs> but I guess you know this one will fall. Either has to take or I will take myself. Okay, interesting. That is interesting. But instead, you know, I went the other side and then b6 was a good move. Check here, yeah. And I think from now on, let's see the review. I think this should be pretty smooth. Oh yeah, except for the one move, huh? Yeah. So this made it easy for me, the queen trade. So and that's a that's a learning for you. Huh? So when you're when you're down material and definitely in position, right? Because you know my pawns are pretty good. You have a pawn in the center, but it will fall soon. My king is quite safe here. So the queen trade is not in favor for you. Because yeah, you need your queen to attack. Because that was the only way to get my king a bit out of balance, right? But now my position is just super solid and good. H5 is not is a mistake. Hmm, why is it a mistake? Goes back, then maybe I overlooked one of his moves. What is a good move here? Takes. Ah, and then here check. Still better for me. Still better for me, but now he has a now he has a uh, past pawn. Okay, so probably we missed it for a while. Okay, that's probably also the mistake here. Yes, takes takes here. Yeah, I think this is all good. Yeah, just a matter of technique. But um, yeah, and I think here, yeah, my opponent should have taken here. Still very much winning for me, but I gave him a counterplay. He shouldn't be getting. So in here just c3 and uh, after a move like this, maybe knight here, is this a good move? Yeah, sure, but I can also just go c2 and after this move, you know, I can always take the rook, so that's not a thing. And after, if, if you go like here, for example, I can get my king in, for example, even better would just be to go and play the move c2, okay. Okay, well, I think, and after this, we convert it quite clean. Bishop went back, and I just start pushing pawns. And, yeah. Check, check, some checks. And this is a nice checkmate! Thank you so much, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you tomorrow! Bye-bye!